It's me again. I'm so, I apologize, I haven't been uh, doing much of anything on YouTube lately. It's supposed to be because um, I've been taking several college classes, and I just haven't been, been uh, have really had time to really do the videos I've been wanting to do. But I'm going to see what I can do over the next couple months, and uh, when I'm ever, ever able to make some uh, quality video f videos for you guys, I'll put them up on YouTube so you guys are able to check them out. But anyway, today I was actually at Walmart. And uh, while I was there, of course, it's, it's November now, so all the Christmas stuff is going to definitely be out by this time. Well, every year I've noticed that Warner, uh, our good friends at Warner Bros. Entertainment like to put out some pretty interesting stuff every Christmas. The same Christmas movies every year. A Christmas Story, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Elf, Polar Express, etc. Always get a new version, a new reissue to convince people to, th to give them their money to uh, part with their cash to have the same disc all over again with a new little trinket included or something unique about it. Well, today I bought one of those new little reissues again and that was How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This time I actually bought this for a reason. One, I don't have it on Blu-ray yet so this would be kind of an obvious purchase. Two, it's the new edition so it's actually got some new extras, mainly it comes with uh, the new features, it includes our, uh, the other two anime Grinch specials being Halloween is Grinch Night and The Grinch Grinch is the Cat and Hat, so it's nice to have them all on one, on one disc and not have to swap between multiple discs. And uh, three, this only costs 13 bucks, and when this Blu-ray didn't come out long ago, it actually came out last month, late last month in October, and it was $20 then and now it's 13 and now you get, um, that, but you also get a little pop figure. It's not really a pop figure per se, it's a little keychain, but it comes with a, a max pop, pop keychain. And they also offered other sets like this with the other movies. A Christmas Story had a Ralphie pop keychain. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was another one. They had, had someone similar, had, had the a little keychain. Um, Elf came with one. Polar Express didn't, but they did have a, a new slipcover for Polar Express this year, though. Um, but yeah, so uh, I bought this. It's thirteen dollars if you wanted to get it at Walmart. It's available in the United it's U.S. Walmart. Not sure about in Can uh, for my Canadian uh, friends if they have if the uh, Walmart's there have this set. I assume they probably might, but I but if they do, I imagine it's going to be have both English and French on it. So if you want to have just English, you may have to get it from the United States, which shouldn't be too hard to get. So here's the front of the box. It has the same artwork if you bought it separately, but the box is much bigger to accompany the pop figure. And also in case they had a DVD version of this, which I don't believe they did. I think it was just Blu-ray. But they did have a DVD counterpart of this if you wanted to buy it, which I think is 10 bucks. But spend the extra three and get all this extra stuff. Get a Blu-ray, get the digital copy, and get a little keychain with it. Um, but anyway, there's the front of the box. Here's the spine right here. Very big box this comes in for what you're getting. And here is the back. Kind of gives you, I'll let you guys read the description if you guys were interested. And then also there's a list of special features. Outside of the, the, the additional bonus specials, the features are the same as the 2008 Deluxe Edition DVD and the 2009 Blu-ray release. So just keep that in mind. And then there's all your legal information. And on the bottom, you have all your ratings information and your tech specs. So, that's about it. The reason why I was thinking this might be sold in Canada too, because it has a Canadian rating on it. So, it wouldn't be that hard to sell it in Canada, at least in English-speaking Canada anyway. I think the um, the French speakers will probably be, sh will be shit out of luck, I think. But maybe Warner Bros. might help them out, I don't know. Anyway, I've got my pocket knife right here. Let me cut it open real quick. I'll be right back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, guys, so now I've got the shrink wrap off the box, so let me get it open carefully here. Show me what I said.
Okay, so now I got everything out of the box here. Let me fold my knife and put it away so I'll cut myself. Alright, so here's what you get in the box. You get your little keychain right here. We'll get to that in just a moment. Let's get to the actual Blu-ray itself, which actually has no shrink wrap on it, which is, I was a little surprised. But anyway, so that's kind of neat. So here's the front of the case. Unfortunately, this didn't come with a slip cover, but, uh, oh well. You do, I guess instead you get a big box for it instead. So, I guess it is an iPad. And also, I remember in the store, they had a normal copy without it, which cost more than this set for some reason. And I remember the slip cover wasn't really any great shakes either. So, let's open it up. Now, I know there's going to be a... Huh. Well, okay, shit. Give me a second. There is no digital copy in here. Unless they put it on the bottom. It says blu plus DVD plus digital, so this should come with a digital copy. It certainly was on the shrink wrap, so, um... Let's open this up real quick, the bottom, to see if it wasn't... Was they just try to like take it out and have something special to? I was like wondering why it was opened. I think they would have it sealed in the, in the box, the the DVD, the Blu-ray itself. But yeah, they didn't have a digital copy. That's pretty shitty, and that's false advertising. Unless this was a return, but it didn't look like a return. These didn't. None of them had Walmart stickers on them, so. No. That is confirmed. Walmart was too cheap to include a digital copy of the set. Okay. Oh, well, that's pretty shitty. There's no digital copy with this thing. Oh, well. Shit happens, I guess. Well, I can't return now because I've opened it, so. There's the DVD. And then there's the Blu ray. Right there. It actually has some artwork on it. So. Yeah. The case wasn't, wasn't like, scratched. It looks brand new, so I don't really... No, I guess that they didn't... Either they forgot to include a digital copy with mine, or what, but... Uh, let me guys know in the comments, should I try to return this and get one with a digital copy, or just keep it and just say, screw it? I'm probably just going to keep it anyway. I have no real use for the digital copy, because it does come with a DVD with it, and I can, I can easily just rip that if I wanted. In fact, I, hey, I guess it would be it would the only person that might bug a little bit is just Gus, but it doesn't mention a digital copy on the case, so I don't know. That's really weird. But anyway, that's it for the video for now. So um, I'm glad. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.